I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Time for some more Canadian English today. This is called a toque in Canada. In New Zealand, I'd call it a beanie. Another word I learned recently is faculty. Well, I already knew that word, but not its North American meaning. This is one of those words that the first time I heard it, I thought that the person must be just using it in a strange way. But then after I heard several people using it in the same way, I started to think, hmm, hang on, maybe I'm the one who's using it incorrectly. Or maybe it has a different meaning in Canada. And so I looked it up, and yes, sure enough, it does. Faculty, chiefly British, a group of university departments concerned with a major division of knowledge. And that's how the word is used at New Zealand universities. For example, the Faculty of Arts, which includes many departments like the Department of English Literature or French. And the North American meaning is the teaching or research staff of a university or college. So there are different kinds of staff members here at Acadia. There are people who teach and they are part of what's called faculty and then there are other people who do administration or cleaning or whatever and they are not part of faculty. The reason why I've heard that word a lot recently is because now there are negotiations happening between faculty and administration. I'm not exactly sure what it's about but basically something about their working conditions and how much they get paid. And there's also a possibility that they could strike on Monday but they haven't decided that yet and they'll probably keep negotiating and decide on Sunday night. Kia ora, this is Dick News. A New Zealand man who has previously been jailed in three countries started a new jail term in his home country today. Over the last four years, he has conned $3.4 million out of the New Zealand government. Wayne Thomas Patterson is a 47-year-old New Zealander. He's been in jail in Australia, New Zealand and America. In Australia, he conned 500,000 Australian dollars in benefits using 43 false identities. In America, he defrauded authorities of 2 million US dollars. He was last released from prison in 2003 and within a month he was offending again. Over the last four years he has used 123 false identities to con more than $3.4 million out of the Ministry of Social Development. The New Zealand Press Association reported the fraud was New Zealand's largest benefit fraud. The previous biggest benefit fraud was for $250,912. Police said when they raided Patterson's modest rented flat in West Auckland, they found nearly $700,000 in $50 notes buried in the garden, $184,333 cash in the flat and in his car, and gold bars worth $355,000 also hidden in the flat. They also found 137 ATM cards and 102 forged birth certificates. There was a sophisticated security camera, six computers, and a lavish garden with $50,000 worth of plants. Patterson is now in jail again and will serve at least five years of an eight-year sentence. And that was Stick News for Friday the 12th of October. Kia ora. Two ducks are staying in a hotel. They're about to make love and then they realise they don't have any condoms. So one of the ducks rings room service to ask for some condoms. The woman on the phone says, OK sir, would you like to put them on your bill? No, he says, I'll suffocate. What happens if there's a strike? Why is that? Why not? How long will they strike for? What's the problem? Mm, not much, I don't think. Just most of the classes stop, but the English language classes continue. Because the English language instructors aren't part of faculty? I don't know. I'm not quite sure how it works. 
I don't know. I doubt if it would be very long though, probably just a couple of days. I think one of the problems is that the professors want to get paid more. And apparently they get paid less than people at other universities in Canada. The teaching or research staff of a university or college. A. Took. B. Faculty. C. Administration. D. Strike. E. Negotiate. Faculty. A close-fitting knitted stocking cap. Took. The people who plan, organise and run a business, institution, etc. Administration. Try to reach an agreement or compromise by discussion with others. Negotiate. Refuse to work as a form of organised protest. Strike. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.